Hey everybody, I'm out here with Gabriel. Gabriel, how old are you? 18. Where are you from, Gabriel? East Side Phoenix. What high school did you go to? North High School. And we were talking earlier, you are telling me you're out here homeless, is that correct? Yes. How long you been homeless? About two months. And what happened to cause you to be homeless? My parents kicked me out for using drugs. What drugs were you using? Blues, Erics. How long have you been using blues or perks? Three years. So you started when you were 15? Yeah. Is, how'd you start? Is it from school, friends, party? My father passed away. Your father passed away three years ago and you started using blues? Yeah. Was that just to numb the pain that you were feeling at that time? Yeah. When's the last time you smoked blues? About a week ago. And why has it been a week? Are you trying to stop or you just don't have money to buy anymore? No, I'm just showing myself that I can stop. What was, what's the most that you've ever smoked in a day? Uh, 50. 50 pills in a day? Yeah. Have you ever tried treatment? Yeah, I went, I went through it. RTC and uh, detox. RTC? Yeah. Where's that at? Oasis, Chandler. Did you finish the treatment program? Yeah. And did it help or did you just jump back into it using drugs again? It did help, but then I just started using it again. What do you think it's gonna take for you to completely stop and not use them again? I have to have a real reason to want to stop. Have you ever experienced any overdoses or anything? No. And being out here homeless all by yourself, like what's what's <clears throat> that like? <clears throat> I'm not by myself. You're not by yourself? Who are you with? My girlfriend. Your girlfriend's out here? And is she also using blues or no? Yeah. How long you been with her? About two years. What, uh, do you talk to your family at all right now or no? Yeah, I just seen him today. What are they telling you? Are they telling you to get off of drugs so you can go back home? Or what, what, do, what do they tell you? Yeah. And you, you, that's not sufficient for you to kind of go along with them? What would you think? I feel like, I feel like, you know, I'm 18, I'm a grown ass man, so I make my own decisions. So I gotta do it on my own. I gotta wanna stop. You're a grown ass man, you're 18, and you're basically you're not ready to stop right now? Yeah. What, uh, any violence out here that you experienced for you and your girlfriend? Anything crazy ha be happening out here at night? No. How do you make money uh, to for food or? What was that? I hustle. Okay. Where'd you sleep last night? That field across the street. What uh, what advice do you have for uh, young people out there uh, that are you know 15 like you were, uh, being exposed to to drugs? What what advice would you give them? Don't do it. it. Fucks your life up. Like I've seen a lot of people, and, like it messed them up a lot. I've seen people go from being really on top to going to the bottom. When you were younger, and you are, you're still young. But when you were younger, what did you want to be uh, as an adult? What what type of work or what what were you envisioning? A lawyer. So, if you were to beat your, you know, drugs and homelessness soon, what are you going to work towards your future? What, what does your future look like? What do you want it to be? Eventually, I do want to get clean. Do you ever want, like, a family, get married with your girlfriend, have kids of your own? Yeah. A house, a car, yeah. all that stuff? I have a daughter. 
you have a daughter. But if she got taken away, but I'm not gonna get into that. Do you have any siblings? I have three sisters. They're younger? Yeah. Um, so, I wanna thank you for uh, talking to me. I approached you and uh, you're willing to talk, share your story. Uh, I asked you, when's the last time you ate? And what, what'd you tell me? Last night. Last night, so I got you some some chicken, okay, so you can have a good meal for a little bit. And, um, and I was gonna tell you to stay safe out here. It's dangerous and um, I'll keep checking on you. I, I live nearby. And uh, if you ever wanna go to treatment, man, well, I'll take you to treatment, you know? Sometimes you, you have to know that there's people out here that care about you and support you. I know you talked to your family and they kind of kicked you out because they're probably sick of the lies, the stealing and all the stuff that comes with drug use, right? At least that's what I hear, you know, from other people that, that are having issues with their family. Yeah. Right? But but uh, if, whenever you're ready, dude, you're, you're not ready today, but maybe tomorrow, next week, next year, you'll be ready to, you'll be, just be sick of it, right? You'll, you'll, um, you'll wake up one day and be like, man, I need to change my life. There's, you know, there's more out there for me, right? I, I miss my daughter. I miss my siblings. I miss my, my parents, right? Um, you and your girlfriend can start a new life together clean. You know, that's possible, okay? You don't have to be out every every single day sleeping in a dirt field, you know? You can have your own stuff, okay? So don't give up, you know, don't give up. I believe in you, that's why I'm out here talking to you, okay? To let you know there's people out here that care about you and um, and, and yeah, you can do it, okay? So you just need to know that there's people out here that's gonna try to help you and support you as best as possible, okay? Yeah. So that's kind of where I come in. Yeah, I'm a total stranger, but it kind of hurts my soul a little bit of, to see a, a young young guy like you wasting his life, his best years of his life, you know? And then it just takes one bad pill for you to smoke and then you don't wake up, right? Yeah. So, cause I've talked to plenty of people, they've done, they've, they've overdosed cause they just took too many or they took one bad one. And then what? Right, no more Gabriel, right? Yeah. So that's that's scary, dude. Doesn't that scare you? Yeah. So uh, you know, we all experienced trauma in our lives. So obviously, you told me your your trauma was your your father passing away. Uh, honor his legacy. You know, honor his legacy. Let him talk to you. You know, and honor his memory by living a good, clean life and doing it everything that you do for the rest of your life to honor him, right? That's probably what, we, what he would have wanted, right? So, uh, you know you know that's true, brother. I'll, I'll be here checking up on you, and uh, we'll talk soon, okay? Yeah. All right, Gabriel. Later.